Did you hear the news yesterday? The Twitter sphere was bananas about Daniel Craig. So Daniel Craig is in his final movie about, or, or final movie as James Bond. And finally, it is hitting theaters. All right. So finally, the movie's coming out. So Daniel Craig has been doing, you know, publicity tours and interviews, which is what happens when these things finally make it to the theater two years late. Supposed to be out, I think, at the beginning of the whole COVID thing, and it just kept getting pushed back and pushed back. Well, he's getting pushed back because he was asked about the role of James Bond and if he thought that a woman should play James Bond, and he was pretty candid. He said no. He was very precise that no, that role should not go to a woman, person of color, any ethnicity that that isn't a British guy, basically, because he said there should be equal or greater roles that fit those genders, sexes, races, whatever, but not James Bond because James Bond is what James Bond is. And now it's uh, it's not Twitter, it's Twister because they're taking what he said and making it sound like he meant something that he didn't because that's what happens with social media. I mean, I get what he said. He was like, look, James Bond is... A British guy, like he needs to be a British guy. But what if, just what a, what if we went ahead and uh, and changed that role a little bit? 007 is back, only this time as a lady. The name's Bond, Jane Bond. She's got a license to kill and a license to Pinterest. I'll have a white claw, mango, not lime. She's not just a Bond girl, she is Bond. Girl, Ms. Bond, I've designed your new pantsuit to be bulletproof and fireproof. That's great, Q. But did you design it to have pockets? Pockets? <laughs> oh, don't be silly. It's Jane Bond on her Yaz Queen Secret Service. Do you expect me to talk? No, Miss Bond. I expect you to say it's fine and then give me the silent treatment. 